We're learning to play Rain, which is from the Grade 3 Trinity Syllabus. Uh, we're going to look, uh, do a little bit of left hand work first of all, because uh, it's a very pattern based left hand. There's a very obvious pattern going on. So rather than just taking a couple of bars, I'm actually going to take the first 12 bars of just the left hand, just getting to grips with that. So um, now, we, if you first of all, just play a C chord with your left hand. So there's middle C there, C, E, and the G. So that's an ordinary C chord. So we're going to be using that, but also we're going to be using this chord, which is a thumb a third, and then the fourth finger instead on a D. So that's our first chord. So the thumb's on the G. And then you turn it into a C chord. So that's bar one. If you have a look at bar one, notice the left hand part is written in treble clef. So that's why it's so high up. Now, the piece is called rain, so we need to make this sound like rain. It doesn't say it's staccato, neither is it legato or whatever. So it's gonna be lightly detached. Some people might listen to that and think it sounds a bit like staccato anyway. It needs to be rain-like. If you do that, that's not at all rain-like, is it? So you need, it needs that sort of lightness. It's mezzo forte, but it's, I still think it needs a certain lightness about it. Now, you're going to be doing this an awful lot. Now, my hand position notice here my hand is just a little bit twisted uh, I think it's partly because I've got the uh, the camera positioned over my shoulder and I've had to move a bit further down the piano than I normally like to be so if I was doing it down here you see my hand sh straighter but as I say try and get your hand nice and straight on, on this position so uh, that's the first four bars that's one bar so you do that four times then on bar five you do that again on bar six you do that again on bar seven and eight, take that shape and move it down so your thumb is on E. And then if you do that in that position, you'll have the right chord. Then, now it looks in your part like the, the chords have leapt up, but you'll notice we've switched into bass clef. So actually, we're going to go lower again. Your thumb's going to come down to C. So that's bar six, seven, eight, nine, where you've got the bass clef. So you've got that. Two bars of that. And then bar 11, beginning of the third line, you move up, so your thumb's on F. And then at the end, just C with your fourth finger. Okay. So, there's a very definite pattern going on there. And think about where your thumb was. At the beginning, your thumb was on G for the first two bars. Then you did that for ages because it was also an introduction of four bars and then two bars. Then you move it down a third, down to there, so your thumb's on E. Then you move down a third, so your thumb's on C. And then you're going to move up a fourth, so your thumb's on F. And keep the position and just play C. Um, so that's basically it. So that's your. So here's the whole thing. So first of all, uh, I'm going to put the right hand in now, just so you can hear it. But you might like to just playing along with the left hand bit with me. Okay, so. After four, and then you've got the intro. One, two, three, four. Bar two. Bar three. Bar four. And move. Lots of work on that first of all, get that going, and then in the next video we're going to have a little look at the right hand part and then bringing that hands together those first 12 bars.